I hope you know this famous quote. The last wave of Gog and Magog passed through the Sea of Galilee's water, and one of them said, "There is some water to be used," meaning they finish the water of Galilee's in the prophecy. So it's called in Islam, Gog and Magog drink the water of Galilee. So the multi-million dollar question is why Gog and Magog drink the water of Galilee? Gog and Magog knows there is something secret inside the water of Galilee because Prophet Jesus walk on the water of Galilee. From this we know there is a miraculous property present inside the water. The question is what kind of miraculous property present? If we go through the history of chief we see now israel leading the best chief maker in the world they produce the computer motherboard and the wall kind of silicon chip some kind of silicon and the sand present inside the water of galilee that silicon and the sands used to make today's computer chip and that's why gog and magog drink the water of galilee now take a look that the Sea of Galilee is now lower than it has ever been in all of history. The rains come and winter come and so on and the water level changes, but <coughs> insignificant changes in water level. The hard fact is that the water level in the Sea of Galilee is now lower than it has ever been in all of history. The industrial economy and the scientific and technological industry is attached to it. That's where the water is going. Modern industry is the thirstiest of all in history. The micro uh, chip technology. They taught in San make a chip and that our world, the jinn speaking, is based on sand. They're, they're preferred environment is the sand, hence the silicon chip. They taught them make a chip based on silica, based on sand, we can live there. If you make it, we'll occupy that chip and we'll give you and facilitate for you whatever you ask of us. You merely type it and we are hearing it and obeying and sending out the command. So they taught them how to make a home for them in all of their worlds. So aliens, they're no aliens, these are jinn. They're jinn that live amongst us and the jinn who live outside of this planet and this… in these planets and in these universes. This device of the computer and technologies was to enter into their world. That take these words that you're saying, we'll teach you how to make these softwares that break your words into numbers. As soon as we use those softwares, you're entering into their machine language. That machine language, that device that provides all those softwares that breaks all your words all down to numbers because the universal message, the universal language is numeric. It's not kalam, it's not the letters. The letters can be many errors but the angelic code is in numbers. They know that, that break these words and bring them down into numbers. So side note is that the numeric code is an angelic language. The numeric understanding is a universal language. If you were to talk to other of Allah's creation, it wouldn't be based on our letters. So when we're typing, we're sending them an energy current in which they understand and they are retrieving. Don't think that you're Googling and it's going somewhere and you're entering somebody's computer and you're pulling out the file you want. No, no, you're asking them. They're going and finding the location within a fraction of a second and they bring that information back onto your computer to give to you. Now we know what 
is the meaning of this famous quote and what is the link between Gog and Magog and the water of Galilee. Do some homework and research to know more on this subject.